How much do pilots make? Today we're going to compare the paychecks from pilots of the 10 biggest airlines in 10 different countries. You got to keep in mind that living costs in separate countries, they vary quite a lot. For example, take Latin America compared to Europe or Asia. So keep that in mind. And in some countries you earn tax free, but I'm always going to tell you how much tax you're probably going to pay in that specific country. So without further ado, let's get started. Place 10, Indigo Airlines. Indigo Airlines is a prominent low cost carrier based in India known for its extensive domestic network and affordable fares, with a fleet of around 301 aircrafts and 571 orders, primarily consisting of the Airbus A320 family planes, Indigo is the largest airline in India. What do they pay? Well, the first officers start at around 48,000 flying 90 hours a month, and the captains, they earn around $100,000 flying 90 hours as well. Income tax in India, pretty low by the way, so they pay around 5% to 20%. Place number nine, LATAM Airlines. LATAM Airlines is one of the largest airline groups in Latin America, serving a vast network of destinations across the region and beyond. With a diverse fleet of 146 aircraft and 21 orders, LATAM offers both domestic and international flights, connecting passengers from various destinations. We're getting a bit higher on the pay scale here now. So LATAM Airlines first offers around $48,000 and captains earn around $108,000. Income tax in LAT at LATAM is around 13% to 30%. Keep here in mind, we in South, a South Africa, we're in uh, South America, so the living costs are way lower than living in Europe, for example. So that's still a lot of money. Place number eight, Turkish Airlines. Turkish Airlines is the national flag carrier of Turkey and one of the largest airlines in Europe. We have a fleet of over 400 aircraft and only three orders at the moment. Turkish Turkish Airlines operates an extensive network connecting passengers to destinations across the globe. Known for its warm hospitality, excellent service and modern fleet, Turkish Airlines offers a wide range on travel options and strive to provide a top-notch flying experience. Turkish Airlines, there's a little thing they pay in Yira, I hope I pronounced it right. And the first officer gets paid if you transfer to US dollars around $76,500. Captains, they earn up to $120,000. Income tax in Turkey is around 20%. So what you really keep, have to keep in mind in Turkey at Turkish Airlines, the exchange rate of Lira to US dollar or Euro, Euro where you live. Play seven, Emirates Airlines, we all know it is a renowned airline, award-winning airline based in United Arab Emirates. It's known for its extensive global network connecting passengers to destinations across six continents with a fleet of 265 aircraft and 200 orders. Emirates offers luxurious amenities, exceptional in-flight service and a commitment to passenger comfort, making it one of the world's leading airlines. Emirates based payment is based on 85 block hours a month. First officers earn around 100 K, 100 US, 100 US dollars a month, yeah. 100,000 US dollars a year. Captains, they go up to $142,000 a year. But the thing is, what you gotta keep in mind when we're talking about Emirates here, you get all that money tax free. You basically get it net. Plus what Emirates does for their pilots, they um, basically, you, you start working for them and they pay for your accommodation. You, go, you do not pay for house, you do not pay for medical insurance because they've got their own hospital and uh, doctors at their facility. So you do not pay any insurances and you've got all the money tax-free for your own. Keep that in mind with Emirates. So it's still a lot of money having $142,000 as a captain for your own basically. Sixth place on the list and I guess you wouldn't have guessed that it's on that list because most of the people think you do not earn a lot of money there but it's Ryanair. Ryanair is Europe's largest low-cost airline renowned for its extensive network of routes across the continent with a fleet of over 279 aircraft and 257 orders standing out. Ryanair offers affordable air travel options to wide range of destinations making it a popular choice for budget conscious travelers. The airline is known for its no frills approach, efficient operations and commitment to delivering low fares while maintaining a high level of punctuality. Ryanair pay scales is based up onto 80 hours a month total flying. First officers first year. To Ryanair I found a, a list with all those years, first officer, second officer, etc. PP. So at Ryanair in the first year you start out as a second officer. So you've got only two stripes here on the shoulders and you start with a salary of $39,500. In the second year, basically, you 
most of the time, so after 500 hours, you get the first officer, so the third stripe, you get a pay raise. And that will be around $81,500, which is a huge step, I would say, because it's nearly double of the first year. And the thing with Ryanair is they only have three pay scales. So after 10 years, you're still in the same pay gap than, uh, than after three years. So $81,500 US dollar. But at Ryanair, your command upgrade will be likely to come really, really quick. Most airline pilots I know who worked for uh, for Ryanair, they got an upgrading at after around three to five years. So after three to five years, you jump into the captain scale and the captain scale at the first year is around 159,000 US dollar. And now we're talking big bucks here because that's a lot of money. And the thing with Ryanair is they base you in different countries all over Europe. So tax wise, I can't say much about it. If you work in Germany, it would be around 42%. Spain and Italy is a bit cheaper, but I would say it's decent money for a low cost airline you get paid there and after the fifth year being a captain so captains have two pay scales at Ryanair first like I said $159,000 and then the second and the last you're gonna pay uh, you're gonna get that paid all your life if you stay there and work there is $169,000 US dollar. Place number five EasyJet. EasyJet is a prominent low cost airline as well headquartered in the United Kingdom cheers to Adam back there offering affordable flights across Europe and other popular destinations with a fleet of 300 126 aircraft and 129 orders. EasyJet provides a wide range of domestic and international routes catering both leisure and business travelers. EasyJet has become a popular choice for budget conscious travelers seeking confident air travel options. But how much do they pay? EasyJet first officer starts at around 70k US dollars again. Then you get an upgrade to senior first officers. Those were the only numbers I got. Was, uh, which is about 86,000 US dollar. And the captain is generally around 100 167,500 US dollar. Tax in Great Britain is around 40%. So yeah, quite some money there as well. At place four, coming in in the Asian sector now, ANA, short for Al Nippon Airways, I hope I pronounced it right, is a leading Japanese airline renowned for its extensive domestic and international flight operation with modern fleet of 212 aircraft and 59 orders. ANA has established itself as one of the premier airlines in Japan. Known for its exceptional service, ANA offers a wide range of destinations, emphasizing safety and comfort for its passengers. But how much do they pay? Well, the numbers I got here are bad based on 70 hours of working. So always keep that in mind as well. First officers based on 70 hours get in the first year 81,000 US dollars. In the fifth year, they go up to 108,000 US dollars. And always keep in mind, you climb the ladder from the first to the second to the third. I just don't wanna put the whole table up here right now. So first, 81,000 US dollar. In the fifth, it's 108,000 US dollars. And in the 10th year as a first officer, you get 115,000 US dollar. Captain starting at around 130,000 US dollars. And now we're getting into the big box here for a bit, because captains can now up to 218,000 US dollars at ANA. Income tax in Japan is between 30 starting out as a first officer and going up to 40% when you've got that captain salary. Now we're coming uh, to one of my favorite airlines up here, Lufthansa. Lufthansa is a major German airline and one of the largest in Europe with a fleet of 279 aircraft and 147 orders. Lufthansa operates an extensive global network serving destinations across the world, known for its premium service and a commitment to quality. But how much do they pay? Well, first officers, I've got a huge list from that, found it online by the way. It, at carriers who also fly long haul, you gotta keep in mind that payment wise, they sometimes separate be between flying short haul and long haul. So first officer starting out at Lufthansa is 82,000 US dollars in the first year. In the 10th year, cause they, the pay scale went up for 20 years, so I took first 10th year and 20th year. So in the first year at Lufthansa, you get paid 82,000 US dollars. In the 10th year, you get paid 109,500 US dollars. And in the 20th year, you get paid 125,000 US dollars. The thing is with Lufthansa upgradings, they can take up to 16, 17, 18 years. So you're gonna be in that pay scale for quite a while. But once you become a captain, you get that fourth stripe, you're gonna get paid in the first year, 150,000 US dollar. In the 10th year, 175 US dollar. And then you're gonna make a big jump if 
you reach 20 years and probably gonna retire two years later, uh, you're gonna get paid up to 241,000 US dollar, which is quite a lot of money. But as well as in a lot of other, other countries, you have to keep in mind, tax in Germany is pretty high at 42%. So yeah, you're gonna lose a lot of that salary to in start to the government. Now we're getting into the big, big numbers. Place number two, China Southern. China Southern Airlines is one of the largest airlines in China and a major player in the Asian aviation market. With a fleet size of over 652 aircraft and 60 orders, the airline serves an extensive domestic and international network connecting passengers to their destinations. China Southern's pay scale is based on 80 hours again. The thing is for China Southern, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find any salaries for first officers because as far as I know they do not like to hire foreign first officers that's at least what I heard in the aviation industry but I found a lot of numbers to the captain salaries and uh, even on their website so the captain starts out in the first year with 216,000 US dollar then they climb up to 252,000 dollars in the fifths and the 10th is still $252,000 because that's all they got, but tax freaking free. And imagine getting quarter of a million dollars a year tax free. That's, that's quite a biggie right there. But keep in mind, not all Chinese airlines give you the money tax free. Some, uh, at some airlines, you gotta pay tax uh, of 30%, up to 30% in China. And now coming to place number one, you probably already guessed it. We're back in the United States, not back. We're in the United States now, and it is, no other airline than United Airlines, which is a major American airline and one of the world's largest carriers with a diverse fleet of over 891 aircraft. And not only that, 498 orders. United operates an extensive global network connecting passengers to numerous destinations across six continents. Known for its comprehensive route coverage, quality service and a strong alliance, United Airlines offers a wide range of travel options for both domestic and international uh, travelers. So how much should they pay? Well, first officers, in America you get paid hourly basically, in some other countries as well, but they pay you hourly. And the calculation I made is for a 90 hour block. Uh, a block 90 hour block month basically so you fly 90 hours block and if you fly those hours you get paid as a first officer first year 98,000 US dollars that's not bad that's really good but then even in the second year you climb up quite far but in the fifth year it's already 205,000 US dollars as a first officer what you got to keep in mind they just raised uh, uh, salaries by I think approximately 40% at major airlines in America so keep that in mind fifth year like I said 205,000 US dollars. In the 10th year as a first officer, you get paid 232,000 US dollars. And all those steps here, they vary with flying long haul or short haul. They even separate between aircraft types, how much you earn per hour. And uh, then you get upgraded to a captain in America. Now it's getting really, really good. Captain. First year as a captain, you're gonna get paid around 300,000 US dollar, which I thought like, dude, that's a lot of money. But then fifth year as a captain not that much of a, a stat to 308,000 US dollars a year and then at the 10th year you're gonna earn around 350 dollars per hour and that sums up at 90 hours a month to 400,000 US dollars and that's a lot a lot a lot of money income tax in America varies quite a lot from state to state so we've got between 10% up to 37%. As far as I know, Texas is really low in income tax, but uh, New York and everything else is pretty high. So I've got one question. If you would earn 400,000 US dollars a year, what would be the first thing you would buy for yourself? Let me know down below in the comments. That sums up the 10 biggest airlines and their paychecks to pilots in 10 different countries. I wish you a pleasant day. Peace, see you in the next one.